welcome to our live. Thank you, Pat was B. Welcome, welcome. Sorry about our late start. We had some technical issues. But thank you all for waiting and staying with us. I'm going to try and see if I can invite Miss Gillings into our live. Just let us know if you can hear us. Okay, trying to get Miss Gillings in. Okay, thank you so much for letting us know. Tell us where you're from. Let us know where you are from, coming from, where you're watching us from. Okay, great. England. Okay, trying to get through to Miss Gillings. Okay. What's the weather like now in England? Is it winter? Is it snowing? Is it cold? Let us know what it's like for you over there in England. We're in Jamaica. We had some rain today. It's pretty cool temperature. very wet and cold sorry about that we'll try and send you some sunshine tomorrow okay 
Miss Gillins is here. Hi, Miss Gillins. Hi, Miss Gillins. Yes, sir. <laughs> So you have been beamed in. Yes, you are here with us. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> I am. I am. Lots of hurdles, but I'm not disappointing. Okay, we appreciate you taking the time to be with us. I know you have a busy schedule. It's the beginning of the year, and a number of persons want to have different investment plans. So we are appreciative that you took the time out to join with us. Thanks, Shelley. You're welcome. But first of all, before we get into the the matter, the meat of the matter, but just tell yeah. us, how are you doing? How are you? How is the investment world moving? Um, people are very skeptical. People are, and, and I speak specifically for insurance and for pension. And um, I think people are a little skeptical that they are holding on to their money just a little to see what's happening because COVID is in and money is required in the, in the event of any um, illnesses. Children have to go back to school. If you recognize the short space of time that parents got to get the kids back to school. So what's happening now is that everybody on a wait and see. But there's always insurance to be sold. There's always pension to be sold. And it is that you have to express to the person the importance and they have to see the need. Okay, okay. And you, you would agree that it's always important to get insurance? Because some persons don't, don't believe in insurance, Miss Gillings, that's the truth. <laughs> well, Shelley, can I tell you, um, one of the first things I tell people, I'm not selling you insurance. I'm giving you information. Once I give you the information and you look at your life, your portfolio, and I, sometimes I don't even use the word portfolio because, you know, people may think it requires a lot of stuff to have a portfolio. Mm -hmm. But insurance is critical. I use the analogy and I use the example all the time. There was a large company out in St. Catherine that burned down. It is mm -hmm. because of insurance that they were, all, they were able to recoup their losses and get back on track. Albeit insurance was very expensive, but once they made the claim, the insurance company was ready to give them business back and they didn't even realize that they had a file. So mm -hmm. let's do someone else's money to do what we want to do. The only thing okay. you have to do is pay premiums, pay investments or, or deposit funds. And once you do that, let me assure you, peace of mind. The ease peace of, of mind. retirement. And the ease of retirement because you know that you're good. Let me properly introduce you so persons understand <laughs> <laughs> the kind of experience that you have. So Patricia Gillings, is a financial advisor with JN Life Insurance in Jamaica. She joined the organization in 2019 and she was a million dollar round table. Did I say it correctly, Miss Gillis? Yes, I, I became a member of the million dollar round table in 2019. What does that annual, mean? We hear it on time. Ah, what it means, Shelley, is that it's, it's, it's a, a membership that is worldwide. So it's not just a Jamaica thing or within our own insurance companies. There is a, a, a target set each year. And the production dollars per annum is what you, you, you work towards. And so some persons actually get to that. They're so good at sales, they could get to it in three months. And there are different rungs. My achievement is the first rung of many in the round table because you have the top of the table and you, you, those things it means a lot because let me tell you to get into that group you really feel special you really feel oh. special okay and I, and I would imagine that you have done 
a great deal of work to get into that group, that elite group. Oh, and let me tell you. Yes, but, but can I tell you though, like everything else, every year you start, you have a goal. But the important thing for me is to ensure that my, my prospective clients who become my clients, they get the best of me and they get the best service. If it is that doing that will allow me to achieve my goal, then I'm happy because it's not only just selling. It's ensuring that my clients know that I mean them well and I want to see the best for them. And with those two things collaborating, then your achievement as a million dollar round table, as an agent of the month, which I've done for many times, it wow. tells me that my clients, my clients respect the fact that I know my business, but I also care about them, them and them, their families. Okay, and, and that, that has brought you here. So let us, let us now talk about financial literacy for seniors. I heard an awesome term recently. It said, gray is the new green. <laughs> so talk to us now, why is it financial literacy is important for seniors? Well, a number of persons, and I'm not sure how many people are on right now, but a number of persons have worked over time to get to this place of beautiful 40, wonderful 50, and amazing 60s. And when they get to that age, they may have done three things in their professional or their career. They may have not started to save. They were living as they were working. There are those persons who were saving, but something happened and they lost their funds. And there are those persons who were diligent in their contribution over their work life and are secure, but may have money now that they have never had in a bulk and may not know what to do with it to make sure that it keeps them in that same life as they were when they were getting a monthly salary. So it is that gray is a new green because now there are, is lump sum money or there is the ability to have lump sum money and it has to be, you have to be guided into ensuring that you don't do risky activities because once money is lost, it's hard sometimes to build back. Okay, but, but that brings me to our question though. Should seniors be saving, looking at investment? Should they be now enjoying the fruits of their labor? Going on cruises? Visiting countries that they always wanted to. Shelley, it takes it takes um, a number of persons if they weren't doing it consistently, going on that vacation, taking that cruise while saving, will now be very miserly when they have that large sum because ultimately that's what you were hoping for to be rich. But what's important? The purpose of being at a retirement age is to live, is to ensure that you can take your time and your days leisurely. But whilst you do that, you ensure that if there's an expenditure or an investment opportunity, you can do it. The, the risk mm -hmm. that seniors will take as a retired person is not very long term. So let us talk about persons who are 50. In every business activity, I would say start small. So if you have a small income, maybe what's the best thing for you if you didn't start to have a pension or money coming to you in a lump is maybe what we have in, and I speak because I work with a large group that cares about everybody. And in the JN Bank, we have something called a partner plan. And so, you know, everybody knows that partner plan, but here's the difference with a partner plan from an official JN bank or a bank. It's that you know who the banker is, solid foundation. So you can now say, what do I want to do in three months? I want to get a vacation with my children. I want to go out with my church sister on a little two weekend excursion. So you say, I'm going to now let us all go to the bank and start a partner plan. Now, a partner plan 
the minimum of contribution for time is 16 weeks. So you now can plan to have fun. And the, the beauty of the partner plan is what you can afford. So it's not a set figure. If you say every week I'm going to do some crochet and from the crochets or from the dressmaking or from selling whatever the, the items, the, the, the items, dry goods items, you can make a cool $2,000 to afford to save. Then every week, $2,000 is what you save for 16 weeks. Think about it. Thirty-two thousand mm. dollars that you know. Just like you say that. you say any amount and can we start with five hundred dollars? Yes. But what is your goal? If you don't mm. even have a goal, it's the practice. So if it is you have nothing in mind to do, start doing practice. Five hundred dollars a week so that you can know that what you put in you get the bulk out in 16 weeks. If it is that you can go for 32 weeks, do it. So every six months, you know that come that money, I can do something. So you feel that you're not wasting money because the purpose of what you did is to do that thing. Because okay. a lot of times you know, we are sidetracked by so many expenses that- Oh we yes, we have lots of expenses. And guess what? Sometimes someone else's emergency becomes your emergency. And because you have that wonderful heart and your grandchildren, you love them to death, you take up that money and hand it to them. But all the time you were working, you really just wanted to go on a day pass to one of these hotels, or you just wanted to go to Mystic Mountain, or you just want to go to Hope Gardens and do what you want to do. Take right. a cab. Like normally you would take a bus, but this time you said, I'm taking a cab. Little things, Shelly. We're not, we don't have to be elaborate in our dreams or our goals. It is that the purpose of being retired is to ensure that you're saving much your expenditure so that you're not left with expenditure that you can't afford. So you're saying then that you're, you're seeing that seniors are into investment, into saving. They want to do it? They are. They are. They are. But and can they afford to? Children. I beg your pardon? Can they afford to save though? They can, but, but you have to be a senior that you're responsible for what you want to do. I find in my business that a number of persons want to do an insurance because they say, Pat, I want to ensure that if I die, when I die, my family is not ro trying to figure out how to bury me. And then their daughters or sons say, we have you covered. What does that mean? Because your children have greater expenditure and commitment. So I always recommend to the seniors, do what you know you can do. As an adult, don't become a baby and let your children tell you that. If it is that you feel that you want to ensure that you're securing, if only a small amount, we have to reach this stage right now, Shelley, that we go to a, more, a, a funeral home and said, what's a package? You have to reach there, so now. It can be that you're bereaved. But, but the package know. keeps increasing, yeah. though, Miss Gilly. The package keeps yeah, increasing. But remember now, Shelley, what you're doing as the senior is ensuring that you can have that start. You're hoping that your family or the, 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 the perfect world is that you fund your own in, um, final expenses. That's the perfect world. Okay, okay, so that didn't happen. That didn't happen. But the beauty, again, of insurance, and again, I speak to what I do, we insure persons up to 76 years old without 76. a medical. Without a medical. Mm. I think people need to take the chance, and you can be as low as $300,000 to a higher 750000 if you're over 66 years old. Wow, and wow. if you're between 64, 61 years and 65, you can have an insurance to a maximum of 1.25 million. So you can choose where your pocket can go. But what is important is that that's a discussion that you must face. We can't hide from it. We have to ensure that we know what the reality is. You can't do everything if it is that your income is not continuous. Because remember now, not everybody can have a group like yours. Quite innovative. Right. 
<laughs> yes, yes, they are. Can and I tell you, the seniors, the seniors are already making making items for Valentine's Day. Exactly. <laughs> so the, I am totally impressed, and 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 I, I congratulate your group because what you're doing is keeping persons not because you reach age sixty five and fifty year old. You're you're mentally and you're and you're skillfully ready to keep going. So from that income. Remember, I spoke to you and said, listen, you can also have a pension. So you're 50 years old and you feel that, boy, I did contribute to my pension. I am going to get it at 65. However, I'm still working. So here's what you do. Whatever that income from your group, we look at what your if, you're, if it's a weekly funds that you get, we look at what your weekly funds um, are, are total, and we can calculate for you what is a contribution you can make to your individual retirement plan. That retirement plan can be a 5% of your, 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 your earnings, and it can be a maximum of 20%, because that's what the government allows. Mm. And because you are a group, that uh, the benefits of the individual retirement is that you you can you pay if it is that you're paid from a sum so so golden designs is the is the is the is the company right month you you give your seniors x amount of money per week then you can now utilize the fact that they're paying pension and take that funds out mm. of it that would be taxable if they are still taxable and then that funds is no, they are not taxed because it is from your pension is deducted before your net pay. Right, 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 right. So right. Don't think about so, it. Yeah. It's something and, that is possible. And, and that is a process in terms of, well, another option of generating financial wealth, right? Exactly. Because, Shelley, if, if the persons, say, for example, I, I'll be talking to a 40-year-old. A 40-year-old can say, I want to retire at 55. When they tell me that, it means that my, my suggestion and my, my encouragement is that because they are 40, I would say to them, go hard and take 20% of your gross pay and contribute it to pension. So for 15 years, you do that. You have, no, you have to accelerate, you know, because you're no longer 18. You're now 40. So you're now trying to do it. But you can say, at 55, I think I can do 15 years. But you also can say, I'll go to 70. If you look at your family's history, and every relative was up to 90 years old, it means that you're definitely, based on the graciousness of the Lord, you definitely will make 70. So you can say, I will continue to do my crochet. I'll continue to do my Valentine cards or whatever you are doing up to age 65 and 70. What that means is that if it's even $500, Shelly, you are putting money so that you can secure because after 70, you have 20 more years to rock and roll. I, I, want, us to, I want us to bring the age bar higher though because we want to speak specifically to our seniors persons who are seniors now persons who are 50 60 65 70 what are the options available for them is it that when you get to 65 financial institutions don't care about you anymore when it comes to retirement planning or pension or any form of investment what is available for persons who are 50 and older in terms of investments well, let's take it step by step. I'll start with persons who are 50. They are still able to be insured for the individual critical illness. So they still can cover themselves in the, in the event of any of the 13 illnesses that probably we, what, that, that could, they could be diagnosed for. And what age, that, before, you, before you move 60, on, what age? 60 years old. 60, 60 that one. Age, you have to be signed up for individual critical illness before age 60. The only challenge is, Shelley, is that the premium may be high, so they may be only able to probably get a million dollars coverage. Now, I don't want to assume that my seniors can't afford anything, 
So the maximum of coverage is $6 million. But in its, in its, in its observation, if it is that I had an 18-year-old who covered for six, for $6 million, their premium over the length of their age would be 3500 But mm. someone starting at 50 may have to start paying $7,000 for just $1 million. It all depends on what the person wants to, their coverage to be. But if it is that at 50, you said, you know what? I've lived this long and God has been good. My, my health is good. Then what you're covering for is your final expenses. And you can have a coverage of $2.5 million. So you, you know, <laughs> so you can look at those options. That's a 50-year-old. A 50-year-old also is still at work. So a 50-year-old can still now contribute for a full 15 years towards their in investment of retirement. And that retirement, when 65 arrives, they get the lump sum of money. And when you get that lump sum of money, I would then say to you, you can probably divide it by half and take your money because we're going to give you all of the money. Because this scheme is not like those that you would work in a large organization and they have a pension scheme where you are mandatorily required to start after your probation is finished and right. you get your funds at 65. Those things are standard. This is an individual retirement scheme that you have control. And we, it is managed by J and fund managers. And what it is, is that it's a higher yield than if you put it in a savings account. Mm. So that's, that's pension. That's pension. Also remember, that when you put savings in a savings account, it's taxed. With an individual retirement scheme that goes towards your pension, it is not taxed until you are about to get it. On that occasion is when the money is taxed. So all the interest and the high yield is on your real money. Okay, and every, okay. At the, at, at the end of every year, there is a statement that is given to you after audit. So you know how much you have contributed for the year, what is your interest, and what is... And remember, part of what I ask my clients is, what's your risk appetite? Meaning, are you conservative? Are you risk-averse? Meaning, just leave me my money back as I give you with my little interest. Don't put it in a shares and stocks and equity. And some people just don't want to do that risk. But there are some people who says, guess what? Take... 30% of my money and do those things so that you get a little more on top of your interest on top of, because your contribution is guaranteed. Here's the difference, Shelley. It's not like you said, I'm going to buy a share in a company. If it loses, your money is lost. Mm. That's, not the, that's not what pension is. When you do your individual retirement scheme, it's guaranteed Every dollar that you save is guaranteed that you're going to get it back and more. You understand? Oh. So, so, and it is not taxed until 65 or 70 when you ask for it or 55. Say, for example, the person 55, boy, I can't wait 10 years. So I'm going to give you that hard 20% of my income. But at 55, I want my money. That's mm. You have to know if you're a hot 50, going into a hotter 55, you need your money to go on that cruise. But if you want to play it safe to say, listen, my house is already paid off, so gross we have to pay for and things. I just want to be sure that I'm living comfortable. I can go to my gardening place, buy some plants and do my gardening because I'm not worried about anything because I can afford to go to the gardening store and buy my plants and plant 50 more flowers that I love. Because retirement, you know, is about pleasure, ease, comfort. Not enjoyment. Sex. Yes, enjoyment. enjoyment. <laughs> so, so I encourage persons, if you have for 50 years of your work life worked hard, saved correctly, please enjoy your money. Enjoy your life. Mm -hmm. Don't hoard no more because the purpose of why I did it at 18 is that when I become 65 or 60, I want to do what I want to do. Stop mm -hmm. hoarding. 
go hard and enjoy yourself and leave and leave money into things that will continue to make sure that two things you continue to be able to pull down and draw down on money but guess what i told shelly today generational wealth so you started in the country you had one shoes and you know the story of the typical life but when right. you get older i do, i want to encourage persons don't get into that narrative i'm not leaving anything for my children because nobody gave me anything let's cut that let us ensure that your daughter or son starts with three dollars Mm-hmm. three dollars that can let them buy a house easier than when you waited till you're 60 to own the house that you live in for 40 years let's okay. move away from that conversation let us ensure that if it is that you don't want to give your son or daughter you have grandchildren set up an education fund let it right. know that their parents can now send them to do anything they want to do i want to be a doctor a chef a lawyer a farmer you leave that money so that the generation will achieve their goal, not having to go work, to go to school, because that's what you did. Yes, you did that, and that's commendable. But we don't have to have the, 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 the story going over and over mm-hmm. and over. Let us move away from that and say, my grandchildren, you're not spoiling them. But what you're doing is putting an investment with the money that you earn, because you love your three grandchildren, Take it over to JN Fund Managers. Set up a global mutual fund. And you say, this is 100,000 for Jane, 100,000 for Mary, 100,000 for John. And and we want to keep it consistently rolling over for 10 years. They can't touch it because that's what you roll over. If they touch it, you have to pay a fee. But what you did with your retirement for your three grandchildren is that you have set up something that when they are ready to go to university, when they are ready to do whatever they want to do. They don't have to take a student loan. loan. <laughs> they don't they have to take don't a student loan. Take students loan. Because what has happened is that you have reduced the fact that by the time they get out of school, all they have on their head is, oh my God, I have students loan. It can't be, we can't right. keep doing that. Before they even get the job. Before, Before they get the job, student, lo- student loan has to be repaid. So, so key to it, Shelley, is that we have to make the change. We can't keep saying no one did it for me. We have to get to that stage that you've covered your final expenses. You know that just in case. We can't carry material things with us. Let us be real. But the decisions you make, should you now say, I want to give my property 50-50 now to my son because he has proven that he's done well. You're not giving it up, you know. But what you're doing is ensuring that you're releasing some of the ownership because you're getting older. Let us not wait for the, the, the things to go into in, in an intestate state. Mm-hmm. Let us not pass someone's house and say, you know, when Miss Jane used to live, our plants were beautiful. Let us okay. now do that transfer so that you're encouraging young people to, to have a home, but because you are still part of that home, you say, I'm going to live over this side. Before you're going to have to go and pay rent, take the bigger side. I just need a bed, a kitchen, and you invite me maybe over for dinner on a Sunday. But what it is, is that it's home. Make right. it different. Let's change the narrative. Let's not go into that, I didn't get anything from anybody. So your money, outside of having that cruise, can now make sure that you're changing the lives of the people that you say you love. Right. And if right. truly, if truly mm-hmm. you can do that, this is how you do it. By your investments and by the fact that you saved for 40 years in a large company where you did well and you got a good payout do something set up a scholarship do something miss gillings i can sense the passion you have for your career we could talk all night (laughs) (laughs) but as as seniors we, we like to go to bed early sometimes (laughs) so (laughs) we're going we're going to wrap up but before we wrap up we spoke at length about what is available for persons who are nearing retirement so persons who have have no past retirement age they are now 65 70 they they did not contribute to a retirement fund they did not contribute to a pension plan what what 
options are there for them in terms of investments or financial financial planning? Well, as I said to you, um, there there can be three things that I would would suggest. A number of persons who are that age still get funds from their family. Some and it's for them it's their income. What I suggest is that instead of going back to do savings, they can do things as I spoke to the partner plan, so that get a goal. So they can't put it for a long time. But I would always encourage persons who are over 65 and at 70 to be able to be covered for your final expense and not worry. It's important that you do that. So if it is that you can save your premium and cover yourself, because the plan that I speak to, once you're at a certain age, you stop paying insurance, but you're mm -hmm. covered up to a hundred up to a hundred years old. Mm. Up to a hundred years old. So I say a partner plan, a short term, short term plan. So you're putting fifty thousand dollars in a, a mutual fund, but maybe a three year, maybe a one year, maybe whatever when you do that, you say to the to your representative, every 30 days, ask me what to do. So mm. No, no, no Miss Gillings. Gillings. Miss Gillings, don't go so fast. Repeat that part. Repeat that part okay. for us. So say, for example, you want to put that 100000 in a in a global mutual fund. You say to your age, your customer representative, I want to keep it for three years so that I get high yield. But every 30 days, please ask me if I'm to roll it over so mm. that you don't pay a penalty. But you want to ensure, because at 70, you, know, you have to live according to your life. So you, you can't go too fast. You can't, even, you can't even project for six months. You have to project month by month. So every 30 days, you say to the person, every 60 days, every 90 days, ask me and roll it over so that you're now able to, to monitor in a better way. But you know that that money is earning at high yield. That's what I would suggest for persons that age. A, a, a partner plan, uh, but, but not high expenditure, not long-term yield, not long-term savings, savings that you may need the funds, but important because you're not doing a, a medical, if you can ensure that you can pay for your burial plan, do that. Don't mm -hmm. allow anybody to have a GoFundMe for you. Don't allow nobody fighting to say, or a fish or, or, or say, yeah, or say, I think we need to cremate her now because we can't afford that that coffin. Let me tell you, you <laughs> or a fish fry, a fish fry, a cake or sale, or a fish fry to burn Miss Jane. <laughs> yeah, man. No, no, no. We're, We're not past that. It. Yeah. We're past that. And and the golden designs crew will ensure that if it's only to say I have paid for my coffin then guess what? We got to get to that stage where we have to be real. Cover it so that any other expenses somebody wants to do fancy with you. But what you need to know is that you would have done the key thing that maybe someone says, why should we give her a, 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 a full uh, mahogany? We should just give her a little cremation. Don't let anybody question what you are worth. You have the ability and I'm Don't the, let anyone, Miss Gillings, you're dropping some okay. gems and you're going too fast. Don't let anyone question your worth after your, no. your death. No. <laughs> protect you, your legacy. You, protect your legacy. And protect your legacy because guess what? I listened to LeBron James today and he said, go back to your community. Build your community. And Shelly, you're doing that. I mean, from the day I know you, boy. If I didn't know about St. Thomas, I know about St. Thomas. I know you about Alvin. I Ooh. know about St. Thomas. And if it is the... And we have great internet. Great internet. We're broadcasting live from Alvin St. Thomas. <laughs> exactly. So I'm telling you, and you know that when I pass through your parish, I love your parish so much. I always say to you, Shelly, guess where I am? 
So I'm hey. saying, <laughs> if it is that you want to leave a legacy, go back to your community, find a child, and send them to school. Do mm -hmm. something so that your legacy is not just money, it's your investment in someone else. So that 10 years after your past, somebody said, I went to school because Jane sent me there, Miss Jane. Go back to I your love community. that. And invest in another child. child. Invest, invest in, in a, another child. A child. Yeah. Because guess what? You can invest in a building, you know. Okay, so they put your name on yeah. it. Whoop, whoop. Ten years time, somebody comes with a grand idea and it's hit down. Where's that going? But when you invest in the mind, when you invest, and it is, it does not have to be fancy. Let me tell you, a child is born, you give them a book. Electronics is wonderful, you know. But I'm telling you, I can use my example. From the day my son was born, I gave him that book that could go in the bath. Mm. So you, you know how as elderly persons, senior citizens, you are, we are at church or we are at an uh, event and we, are, we see a little kid and we said, wow, such a cute child. Ask the parent. Don't let them be a, 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 a sucker on your income. But you make sure that you say, here is a book. The person will not forget you. Don't let them tell you what they want. Give them a book. Give that them a book. Read. That child will read, and as they get older, give them another book. And every now and again, you do that little surprise. Let me see the book list. You feel good in your heart, and you just buy the books and just give the child. It's not about the parent. It's not about the parent. It's the child. Because once the child has the material, that's the first step. Thank you so that's much, Miss Phyllis. As I said, we could talk all night, but we definitely have to wrap this up. Maybe we we have to do a part two and bring you back. But you, Shelly, you, you know I'm available. And you know I'm available. But I really want to congratulate you as well. Because you have always had the interest of the senior citizens as top priority. And you could do as many things as you can based on your professionalism. But your contribution to your community and to the, your, your elders is commendable and you know that you can always. I'm a product of educators and my father passed at 91 and my mother passed at 86. So I get it. You've got to be, because those people have a lot to teach us. So please. And they've taught me a lot. You, you mentioned about investing in a child and seniors invested in me. So I had no choice mm -hmm. but to invest in them. <laughs> Excellent. The table is turned, but it feels, doesn't it feel good? <laughs> it does it does and you're still investing in me i learned so much from the golden designs community it's wonderful so thank keep you so doing, much keep doing. Keep thank you so doing. much thank you so much and it, it was awesome talking to you you dropped some gems we are going to take them into consideration we will be in touch all the very best thank you to our followers our subscribers the persons who joined in on the live we love you Mwah! Thank you so much. <laughs> so, have a good evening. Have a good evening. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. And happy new year. <laughs> yes. Happy 2022.